Nani, good. Yep. Nani! Alright. Nani cool. the fuck? So, after 21 hours... Please tell me there are people where we land. You don't see any people. That's fucking awful, Snake. I'm sorry. I needed people. There will be people soon enough. Okay, fine. It may not be on this island. It may not be on any island. Everyone might have died in the time you've been doing this. Um, but what you see is a very, very grassy island. Like it's um kind of hilly, but there's a few flats, and in the middle and towards the back of it, there is a really large wooded area, about two miles across. Yeah, it's you guys are six mile you guys... island. You guys are in a rowboat, so you, you're a bit above the island. Do you want to scout about from above in the rowboat? Uh, or basically, uh, okay, I, what I want to do is I want to circle around above until we find a place where there's some people around. Some population. Or, or hmm. like, at least we can see, you know, n not, not specifically children, but, hey, you know, someone. Human being. Then we can land the next two. Um, okay, roll me a, uh, roll me a notice check. I don't have notice. Uh... Uh, can one of us do it instead? Yeah, yeah, I ask everyone to look out for people. Sure. We're gonna say this day starts at about nine. Alright, well, there's a failure. Swede's got it. Right, and so after a couple of hours of flying around the island, it gets to about 11 o'clock, and you guys get to here, and you spot what looks like a small, very ramshackle village. Okay, like, land I'm saying, there. I'm talking about free huts. Right, Andrew immediately just says, land there, land there. Well, let me steer this thing into there. It's a small, ramshackle village. There seems to be like a not barbed wire, but like a fence set up and three shitty little huts. Um, and you, yeah, you land there and like when you step off, like one of the doors swings open and this large fat guy, like with a shotgun, just kind of walks out and just like. All right, all right. awesome. Looks at you. Andrew has a hell of an icebreaker ready. He walks out, does this comical stretch and yell and, and ye bellows out at the top of his lungs. Well, we just flew in from Kalia, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> and he, he, he pauses, <laughs> waiting for someone, for someone to laugh. Thaddeus just stares at his feet. <laughs> the fat guy with a shotgun just like slowly lowers it. <laughs> And he what? just says, and he just kind of like, said, okay, boy. <laughs> uh, I'm just fine. We, uh, yeah, we're, we're here in pursuit of some, uh, stolen pot property. Are you talking, are you talking about the, uh, the ship? The ship oh, yeah, here? yeah. The one that the shit kids stole. You know where they are? I, yeah, they... They flew above and they threw some bloody boxes at us, and then they flew in the direction of the forest over that way. I ain't seen uh, it since. That was yesterday. <laughs> it's after my own heart. Well, tell you what, um, I'd like to have a word with them. The old man just kind of like runs up and asks, like, "Was there? Was there? Was there a chest? Is there anything special?" In it? And he was like, "No, it's just empty boxes. What kind of shit ship just has empty boxes?" You want to go speak to him? I ain't going into the forest. That's where the giants live. The giants, you say? Yeah, there ain't too many of them ever since I am moved out here. He says, kind of showing off. But, but they're there. Is they angry or hostile? They don't like people. That's why I got the shotgun. <clears throat> I can't speak like this much longer. But yeah. What would be the safest way to traverse that forest? You got that rowboat, don't you? Ah, oh, just fly through it. Just fly over it. Is there a clearing in the middle of it or something? There's a little, oh, there is a little bit of one. According well, to the old maps, anyway. 
Seems like as good a place as any to start our search. He uh, looks to the rest of the party. Sure. sure. Oh, giant, giant, giants ain't the only thing there. There's also giant wasps, giant lizards. I'd be careful. That place has a bit of a messy ecosystem, but if you're flying above, you might just have to deal with a wasp or two. Nice, Island of the Giant Pokemon. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, keep safe and don't drop anything on me. They won't. Yeah, he just, kind of, he just kind of says, these guys are cool, put the guns away, and from the other two huts, you just see a couple of, like, killing doors, like, close. They had rifles yeah. pointed at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew moseys on back to the rowboat and says, told I had, told you I had an icebreaker ready. <laughs> you went two hours for that. <laughs> <laughs> two hours for that <laughs> I guess your arms were more tired. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, back on the rowboat. You guys start flying above, you fly to the clearing, and you're not bothered by any wasps or nothing, but you do get a visual. Let me just see I, 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 I really hope these are just, like, the Lost Boys from Peter Pan, and I'm about to be their, their fucking fool as shit uncle. <laughs> so, here's what you guys as you're like flying above and you get to the clearing and you do spy a pirate ship it's kind of hard to miss it's pretty banged up but Rowan you eyeball it and you're immediately like it's flyable it can work but it's gonna need repairs and Rowan just says I can fly that um but would I ask would I ask each of you to make a notice check for me very well Ooh. Hot diggity damn. Nice. So, Rowan and Andrew, you can... F you two do see pretty easily with that nine. Do, do, do. Bloody tabs. Come on. Work with me here. As you get closer, you do notice there are a couple of giants who are, like, crouched around the ship. And they are just watching it intently. They don't see you, they, like, haven't spotted you guys. You guys can be, like, wherever you want in relation to this map, like, coming into it. But, can you yeah, make a small like... rowboat token? I can nab a rowboat token. Yeah. Row, row, row your boat. Also, do I see any kids? You do not. Probably got eaten. Uh, that would be yeah. unfortunate. <clears throat> it's a really bad rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. where do you guys want to be in relation? Okay, I'd like to be over here. I'd like to be right above it, right here. Okay, so you guys, like, fly above like, it. Like, right above, yeah. like, that mast right there, because I have an idea. Alright, and I'll put you, I'll put you lads' tokens on this blooming thing. Ugh. <clears throat> These giants look like they have tails. I so, so what I'd like to I think do, a line cloth, but uh, snake the tokens is... are just kind of unfortunate. Let's make this a bit bigger. Could I roll uh, stealth to sort of like drop down onto the mast and get down into the boat and underneath and like into it? Um, they See will make a notice. Inside. They will make a notice check to verse you, but yes, you can make a stealth check. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, Andrew says. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my luck, getting in. Hey now, hey now. So, what's the plan if they spy? You? Wild dive four. Like, Wild dive four. Shoot. So they've got to. Um, here's the question. Here's the question. Right. This is a versus check. So before I roll there, can I Benny it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, if I Benny it and get a worse result, can we just use take the, the four? top result? Take the top result on. All right, yeah. In the case of a worse result, five. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what the giants get. The giant rolls his gnosis. Oh shit. One of them got exactly a five. 
One of them got exactly a five. There. Okay, We're, so let's take this to a duel. All right. What is this duel of? I'm just, just rolling again, essentially. What do we roll? Stealth and notice. Oh, okay. Just, you know, tiebreaker. Gotcha. Basically, he just looks and it's like, wait, what? Okay. I'm so going to do Benny that, Benny that. All right. I'm, I'm throwing everything into this. You don't want to be yeah. spotted by the giant. I don't want to be. Nice. All right. Very good. Yeah. He ain't awesome. spotted you. And I didn't need the penny that, but whatever. I had two extras from <laughs> my comedy acts. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. <laughs> You're down. You are down on the ship. The um. Uh... The... So just to kind of now you're a bit closer. You're not like actively looking up, but you do kind of know this giant here is like crouched down and he's trying to look through the cannon, like the cannon holes, which don't okay. aren't really needed on this ship. That's a bit of an old design thing. So as far as Andrew is concerned, like he's thinking, all right, these giants are clearly looking for someone. He he figures that the kids are probably got in over their heads or are inside the ship, and he's gonna. Want to go in and see if he, they can, he can strike a deal with them. He really oh. wants a Lost Boys crew. Like, that's by his the, end goal here. By the by, I'm sorry, I forgot a detail. This is actually a beneficial detail, but there is a chain gun on this ship that looks yeah. workable. Alright, so I'm gonna, I was gonna... I was gonna throw right. a Benny to have working cannons. Yeah, so I'm gonna open a hatch and uh, pop myself on in. Uh, and, uh... Would it be stealth to, like, sort of, like, whisper for anyone around? Um, yeah, I'll make that a stealth check. You're trying to be noticed, but not noticed. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the sky, Roman is like, maybe I should go in there. I mean, I can, I can pilot it. Actually, Snake, can, could this be oh, pilotable? no. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> I can't so, Benny that? You can't Benny out of a crit fail. Oh, that's sorry. Do, does he just fucking open a door and just a rogue Rubeberg's machine of fucking everything? <laughs> Any kids around here? <laughs> so what happens is you crouch down, you open a hole to go down, and this ship is in shit repair. The man who was oh. keeping this just wasn't good. The the hinges are all rusted up and thing, and the hinge just snaps at the back, and the port and the hold you just open just like drops out of your hand and clatters down the stairs. Which and I tumble back down back. with it. If you want to, if you want to, yeah, fall down absolutely, the I tumble down with it. Actually, a detail, a detail. Rowan is actually scolding the man for treating the ship so badly. Um, but you did fall down, so... Alright, so hopefully giant... Rowan and... Uh, can you guys cause a distraction up there? <laughs> I mean, no, just set the boat on fire. What? Wait, isn't what this the boat we're after? Yeah, this is the boat you're trying no, to... Don't out. set the boat on fire! <laughs> but say, Snake, actually, Snake, mm -hmm. can I roll in... Can I roll, like, a... Um, hmm, oh, should this be a repair check? Basically, I want to roll to see if this ship... Like, if it could fly now, or if, or if it really, really needs repair to even fly. Um, oh, I'll let you make that, and that's quite... I'll make, make that a plus two, that is an easy check. Okay, okay. Should I, I... actually, what, what should I... what should it be? Should it be my piloting? Or um, repair? Piloting or repair, both would work in this scenario. Good. You're Good. sizing up the ships, like... This ship is banged up, bad state, but it will fly. Oh, Rowan just says that, okay, it's terrible shape, I, I, I weep seeing her, but I can fly her. I right, should to, get... put this, to put this in context, put this in mechanical context, this, like, this is two wounds out of three. Okay. Yeah, like, really bad state, but workable. This will take off and go. Alright, so, okay, as on, Andrew tumbles down... What? So, I'm gonna create a distraction. Okay. Um, Snake, which one of them is paying more attention. This one heard him fall down and clatter, and it's like, it's no longer kneeling down looking through the unneeded cannon holes. It, like, stands up to his full height, and his, like, hands are on the hands are, like, you know, okay. resting on the deck, and, like, he's scanning, like, what, what was that? What, okay, what? I want to cast uh, Ledger Dedgermain to, like, snap a branch in, like, in the tree line. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Hopefully that'll... Oh, yo, wow. Ooh, yeah, we'll do... Oh, yeah. 
So he takes his hands off the deck, and I didn't mean to, didn't want to make him a different size. <laughs> I hate moving to So um, he, he contracts a little bit. <laughs> context, I have moved him, rotated him at such an angle that the cog button is blocking my ability to rotate this, Very this good. guy. This is bullshit. Very good. Let's make... <laughs> he has to come. <laughs> <laughs> <He has> to... <laughs> You've de chatified him. <laughs> He's now involuntarily <laughs> celibate. <laughs> <laughs> he compresses for a moment and then. <laughs> you know what? He just flips. He just like. He, he glitches out. He T poses for a moment. <laughs> yeah. And, like, just starts walking towards this tree. Yeah. Right. Um, awesome. So, Andrew, you tumble down the stairs, and you just land with a bit of a clonk. You're not concussed, but your head's spinning a little bit as you yeah. hit, your head on the, hit the back of your head on the stairs. And you look up, and there's just, like, there is a child pointing a gun at you, but shaking violently, like, obviously doesn't want to shoot, but it's like, you're not a giant. Uh, yeah, Andrew says, oh, yeah, no, 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 uh, I'm the guy, uh, see, I was gonna have this ship, and then, uh, you kids stole it. I'm not mad, actually, I, I love little burglars. You, you guys are, you, you're, uh, kids after my own, uh, whatever the fuck. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're kind of both in a bind right now, so, uh, if we work together, uh, escape these giants, how about, uh... Tell them you have you, a pilot. We, I have a pilot. A really good one, and if we work together, escape these giants. How about uh, you can burgle with us? That, that sounds that sounds great, Mister. But please, please make the giants go away. They're quite scary. Oh really no! Big. Yeah, yeah. I got a wizard up there who just uh, stopped one of them from killing all of us. Oh gee whiz, Mister! You're sure a golly great. So uh, hey. I saw a chain gun out here. This is workable. We can do this. Uh, if you don't want to help, that's fine. I understand this is scary. You can hide. Thank, thank you. I'll, there's, there's four more of us just hiding in the back. We've been... Do you have any food? We've been here for a whole day, and whoever kept this ship didn't have any food on it. Food, they were a food, bit food, of a loser. Food, food. Do I have food? Do you have food? Do you, do uh, you have... Rations or anything? Uh... No, you didn't oh, buy rations from the thing they will. We will start following rations the moment you guys have this ship and we're in the free roam section yeah. of this game. Uh, so can we just say I have some rations, yeah, like yeah, some yeah, bread? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I give him like a loaf of bread. It's like, chow down, we'll have them gone in a jiffy. Eat, my children, eat big and strong. Can I write down what side of I the ship I am so the glad I'm going to have a Lost Boys crew. This is going to be so awesome. You know, I wrote it down and I thought it's a very bad idea to put children in the same setting as you, but this is somehow yeah, this is better than what I expected, but still could go wrong. And it's gonna make me feel bad for killing children at some point if things He go wants to I no, I am gonna protect these kids with all I have. Like this is nice. this is my fucking crew of kids. Come on. Nice. Alright. So 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 uh, Actually, Rowan is deciding, like, since we're all, like, you know, he, he's got to get on the ship, too. So he's going to climb down. Hmm. Actually, have the giant, did the night giant notice us yet? Um, uh, no. But you're going to have to make a stealth check against, like, this one. Oh, good. Because I don't have any stealth, so it's going to be fun. <gasps> Damn. Okay, this giant will have to beat that free. Unless you want to throw down a Benny to try a better a better result. Oh, should I? Should I? Should I? Now remember, if you get a worse result, that won't supersede the free. The free will still be your result, but it's up to you. I think it's pretty safe. Uh, okay, what was the giant's roll before? It was a d6. Uh, you have fifty yeah. fifty odds. Nah, I'm I'm saving. It could be fun. Okay. No. Fuck me! Jesus Christ. You are climbing down, and this giant here, a giantess, a female, just kind of comes up to her full height, sees you, and just, boulder in hand, just roars and tosses it at you. 
Oh, what? Yeah. No. Andrew hears that and just says, Oh, Jesus. You... What? Oh, God! <laughs> Rowan says, actually, Rowan is gonna do some acrobatics. Actually... Right. Uh, okay, um... There's ropes hanging around this, right? There's Definitely, like, it's a ship. <laughs> yeah, Rowan just grabs one and he's gonna just swing down to the deck. Alright. So you're now a very fast-moving target. Agility. Okay, so are we gonna turn this into a turn order thing now? In a we second. Combat? All right. uh, what, wait, that's a failo, right? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm banning that. Rowan is gonna have... There we go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the rock goes flying past where you were just moments earlier and flies into the clearing. The other giant turns around and just, like, looks up, not only notices you, but notices the robo above. Oh, boy. With two, with, not only with you, but, you know, with an old man, two old men in it, and, of course, Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Yeah. Mm. Wait, no, so, Rowan's, Rowan's on the boat now, ain't he? Yeah. He, he, yeah, yeah, I said, I said thing. two old, I said two old men and Thaddeus. You yeah, because you also said not only with you. I can't thing. move my yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only with yeah. you, two old men and Thaddeus. Yeah. The two old men are still in the rowboat. They okay. came in. So I can't move my token, so... Yeah, I can't either. I, I don't I am have terribly sorry about voice. this. Let me... Let me do... Let me fix that. <laughs> so, uh, if we're gonna do turn order now, right? Yes, we are. I'm going to give okay. each of you... Can your... I spend a Benny to make, uh, one of, like, the cannon, like, right here, like, workable? All right, we'll make it. We'll make it. Um, yeah. Port side. It's a port side. I absolutely have like a surprise attack, like from inside the thing. Just throw in a cannonball what, and like, wait, what? blast this fucker. Oh, this is a, we... this isn't a cannon. This is a chain. This has been a chain gun. What? No, 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 no. I mean, what I well, I'm inside. Oh like, yeah, and, sorry. And like right over here, like a cannon right here, like oh, it's there... like on my level because I'm you know underneath where's... the deck. So where's the chain gun then? The chain gun is t on the deck there, and it's loaded. Yeah, but can I have the cannon here be working so I can just like fire? There is no cannon down there. There isn't. No, oh, I want to spend there the Benny for there to be one. All right. All right. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to spend a can a bit there. There's a working cannon there now. I'm gonna fucking fire it. Wait, hold on. Is it different? Do I still roll shooting, or is it have to Here's be the artillery? Thing, the or something? ships in this setting don't don't have like cannons down there anymore. They still have the cannon holes from old design, but so this is like unusual. This is like atypical for this kind of right. setting. Yeah, but we'll allow but there it. is one. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, it's wait, like this old... it's pro I'd probably have to roll artillery or something though, right? Fuck. No, no, it's a straight a shooting? shooting check for awesome. Artillery. This all under the awesome. same blanket. You just won't have your plus one. Yeah. Um, okay. Does it? Can everyone move their tokens now? By the way. Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah. All right. So let's um add everyone's turns and get this ball rolling. By the way, as Rowan swings down, his shouts, "Get on the ship, lads!" But yeah, just for future reference, this like won't. There won't be cannons down in like the lower decks. It's just not all really right. done in this setting anymore. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, um, actually, Rowan is gonna say it. Actually, I'll say it now, but basically, as soon as Neo does fire, Rowan will shout, A cannon? Who puts a cannon on a ship? Anymore. Oh anyway. my goodness gracious. Oh, what? oh no. Oh, what? So, the first thing this giant is going to do is, he's going oh, to shit. throw a boulder at the rowboat. And I'm oh no, Thaddeus! <laughs> no, I was gonna try to sneak <laughs> off too. Fuck. <laughs> so this is a plus two. <laughs> a four just barely hits. And um, so the rule I got wrong in the last thing was inanimate objects don't take exploding damage; they just take, like you know, regular old damage. So, healing is strength plus. Oh, bullet 3d6. So, the robo takes 3d6 of damage, 10. A robot's toughness. <laughs> 
our robot's <laughs> toughness is eight. <laughs> oh, no, well, it's that's fine. You know, it's just it's one it's one wound, and um, ev and you make make an agility check to hold on, to stay on board, not be rocked off. <laughs> Thrown off violently. Ah. <laughs> wild die four. Yeah, wild die four. Yeah, so you're 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 okay. You hold on. I'm going to roll for the two old men. <laughs> Rip old men. <laughs> Rip. Oh. Well, one of right. falls off. <laughs> Which you one decide, died? You decide. The man who made who arranged this deal for you, or the one who had let his ship get stolen? The one who got the, it the, stolen. Yeah, yeah the, the one, one that lost it. it. Yeah. He doesn't deserve so to be on. Because I am decisively on the side of the Lost Boys. Um. He takes a pretty bad spill. <laughs> he ain't dead, but he's unconscious. Like, he Where is he? Tum uh, he's... Hit. Did he? Did he? Oh, did, okay, he tumbled on deck. And you just hear Rowan shout, Be careful with my ship! He dings it. He leaves an imprint in the wood. Oh, no. That's I'm gonna take some Ro buffing. Rowan actually just on kneels, on da he kneels down on the ship and pets it. Pats it and says, there, there, baby. It's gonna be okay. Well, I'm gonna fix that. Now, there is, um... A, in the <laughs> gear handouts, there is, um... Vehicle weapons. That's one of the handouts you guys should be able to see. So that's the damage on cannons and on chain guns and such. Nice. Oh, there we go. So, reference that when you're if you're making your attacks with artillery. Which cannon do I have? This is a shot cannon. This is a classic cannonball yeah, cannon. Yeah, awesome. Takes a whole turn to reload after shooting, so... Awesome. You know. Can't I have my Lost Boys reload it? <laughs> you can have them screwing it, but that won't speed this up. For <laughs> sake. I, I know, but, but, it, but it means that I'll be free to do something. Yeah, fair instead enough. Instead of me I'll, reloading yeah, it. That makes sense. That's good for Awesome. It. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh god, is <laughs> Snake, what what is it with Savage Worlds and like one of the your Savage World games and one of the players just d make it, it getting a crew? I don't know, but I ex this is a pirate game, so I expected yeah. you know you guys would have a crew. <laughs> that was that's it. But did you expect it would be the cowboy getting a crew of children? <laughs> no, I thought you guys would just be annoyed and you might drop these guys off on bloody ramshackle or something. Clearly not. I I was naive to think. <laughs> anyway. Fa uh, no, no, no. Rowan, it's your turn. Okay, uh, where is the actual like uh, control area? Steering wheel, whatever we use here. We'll say like, it's towards the back here. Yeah, good. Oh, I can run there. It's only just three inches, barely. But yeah, Rowan, Rowan goes there and it's like... Okay, baby. Um, hmm. Yeah, he, he sees this. He's going to start her up. All right, now, I know you have um, ace... I remember you have ace pilots, so you have a plus two, but this vehicle has two wounds, so it's minus two to operate. Okay. So you've evened out. Yeah, okay. Um... I don't know if I would try to fly this thing until we kill the giants. Hey, now, who's the pilot here? I'm just saying, just saying. they could destroy this thing. Hey no. No, this... yeah, please don't don't actually lift it into the air. <sighs> because my comrades are cowards. <laughs> Rowan did go. He did go to the like thing. Um, he, you, hmm. How, how am I gonna justify Rowan running there now? Um. Oh, actually. Hmm. What the fuck? Oh god, I... Fuck, since you guys said that... Convince me not to, hmm. Actually... Oh, actually, no, can, Snake, can I reverse my thing, or...? You can... Or, I'll let you reverse your... Yeah, thing. since they, they, they're really against it. I'm just gonna man the, this chain gun. I don't have any shooting, but fuck it. Roman's like, Die, you... God, die, you damn dirty giant! Oh, it damn! Connects. Okay, let me see what the thing is. 3d6 plus 1. Thank you! 
It explodes around us, put your exclamation marks in there. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, not that it exploded no, 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 anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's shaken. It's hit, and bu- it's hit by a buffet of bloody chain gun fire, and it reels backwards. Oh, wait, no, 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 fuck, fuck, no, I was thinking of the cannon, sorry. No, the chain gun is a 2d8. Oh! Yeah, I'm stupid, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, That's yeah, I just saw it. Fuck, roll yeah. A two, roll a 2d8, it's fine. Yeah, 2d8, exploding. Damn! Um, the chain gun goes wild, it's a bit, it's a bit old, a bit rickety, and, like, you can't get it to go low down enough, because the giant is now, like, crouched again, like, basically looking into the cannon hole, because he just saw it open up, and he's really curious. Thaddeus, do something! Thaddeus, you've managed to hold on to the rowboat despite it being hit by... Despite it being hit by a boulder and taking a pretty bad chunk out of it. Stop the planet of the yeah. eight, because I want to get off. I think Thaddeus is gonna try to sneak off the boat. Just to Why get sneak? Because I don't want to be seen. Are you sure you're seen? <laughs> I mean... Well, I actually, hold on, the boat's still okay right now, right? It's dinged, it's one wound to three, but you know, it's intact. Hmm... It might get another boulder sometime, but no, I'm not selling. All right, I think, I think, okay, well, you know what? We're pirates. Thaddeus is gonna grab onto the rigging, and then like as he's swinging down to the deck, fire a uh, charged firebolt at the one that threw the boulder. Nice. So let's see. What do you want me to roll for that? Um, agility check for the swinging action, and, yeah, well, that works. And then we spell cast. You're doing multi-action, so this is a minus two, but okay. pretty good in these. So, oh yeah, by the way, did you refill your power points for the yeah. 21 hours you weren't doing anything but rowing? Sure did. Okie doke. So I'm gonna, um, supercharge the bolt, so it's 3d6 damage for two power points. And do these guys have like super thick skins or anything? They are have a naturally thick hide, and they're wearing like naturally thick skin. They're wearing hides. Okay, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll I'll give it another power point to give two armor piercing. It says three power points. Oh, yep. So this is spell casting at minus two. Uh, I'll throw a Benny on that. Because I want this to work. Yeah! Yeah! And it explodes. I'm sorry, it, uh, it aced. Right. It raised. Right. Let's see. Yeah. My terminology is failing me. Uh, Firebolts. That's a lot of damage. You pow- did you power- you said you powered it up. Yeah, so it's gonna do 3d6. No, 4d6. 4d6? You powered it up, right? Or was that just powering it up with the armor piercing, not a 3d6 of damage power up? No, it changes from 2d6 to 3d6. And you got a raise. It with the raise, yeah. And then it gets two armor piercing. So it is a 4d6. Yeah. Yeah. That was you rolled 11. 3d6, like, you rolled the 2d6. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah, you should either roll another d6. So 14. 14. 14. It is genuinely shaken this time. Yeah. Alright. Alright. It just got shaken and now I'm gonna stir it. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, also it's on fire. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Andy, let's do it. Andy. Up, oh, Benny. Benny in it. Benny in it. Benny in it. Benny, Benny, Benny. It hits. Awesome.
What? Damn. What the fuck? Just blast it in the face. It's dead. Absolutely. Blew its fucking head off. Just. <laughs> Boom. It goes on fire. It, it just goes flying back and just smashes into that tree, toppling it over. All right, all right. Andrew like does like a, you know, like l quick little fist pump and says, looks at the kid, says, "One down," <laughs> and uh, starts scrambling over to the other side. The tree is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, um, well, luckily it's not going to spread to it's too far away. Mm. What it, was that? Mm. Fire that was my work hmm like of, that. is it going to spread so far? Fire doesn't spread like that, like that snake. My saying. Calculate the wind. See, see which way it's blowing, and then, and then I'll give it to you. Alright, we'll roll a 1d4. Don't ask what the cardinal directions for the d4 are. I was gonna say, like, what? It should be a d8, really. Oh, it's a d8. I mean, it should be a d8, yeah. I was only accounting- I wasn't accounting for the sub-directions. Yeah. I was accounting for north, east, south, and west, you know? Alright, we're gonna treat this d8- I know this is a really shit way of putting it- We're gonna treat it as analogous to, you know, a clock. How about me? Yeah, yeah, make one north and make it go clockwise. Yeah. Yeah. One is north and going clockwise. Oh, God. North. It's uh, blowing east. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. See. How do we know this, this map way. is north? It's I'm going this way, cars. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> it's going this way. That means it won't hit the it won't hit the boat. So fuck off. By the way, the giant rolls this way. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Okay. All right. All right. Why are you so against me starting forest fires? Also, you should, uh, also, I mean, that's just the wind direction. I mean, that's to say nothing of the wind strength, so, you know, you should, uh, roll a... <laughs> so you should roll for that, too. Savage Worlds is known for its realism. Hold yeah. on, let me pull out the Perilous Wilds, Wilds weather book. Let me calculate this in Fatal. This lad runs over here. Carrying a tree trunk and swings it at Thaddeus. <laughs> wow, he really. F I thought it was she. Ooh. Oh, sorry, she. Yes, this was the female giant. Giantess. Yeah, yeah, gigantess. Big lady. What is your parry, Thad? It's not fourteen. I can tell you that much. No, it's not fourteen. My parry is five. <laughs> Okay, that hits. How hard does it hit? This is bad. Let's roll. Whoa! That is dead. Can I? What do I? Do you I... vigor. You spend. Throw down a Benny, and you vigor check. Yeah. So soak one. Now vigor the hell out of it. What is your what is your toughness? Oh, wild die five. Yeah. Uh, what is your toughness? toughness? Is four. That okay? You're on. You're on free wounds. Wait, really? Nice. He soaked one, didn't he? He soaked one. Yeah, yeah. that's because he would have been on. That's because he would have been on four wounds. Shit. And vigor for five doesn't. Huh. Vigor for five removed one wound and brought it down to three. Huh? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Thaddeus is almost dead. Unless he has armor that moved that up to twenty-one. I do. Oh, he does. So, have armor. so your tough. So what was your tough? So was your toughness five after adding the armor? No, I think my toughness is four after armor. Okay then. So you are on free wounds. Yeah. It's every it's every like addition it's every multiple of four after the toughness that adds another wound after shaken. So the four was shaken, eight first wound, twelve second wound, sixteen third, twenty. Let me make sure this is counting my armor. Twenty was the fourth. The Benny soaked one of them, and then the wild and the vigor. Oh, it's not counting check. my armor. The they're not. Soaked. They're not. Ad they're not additive. They're both independent rolls, so he oh, rolled yeah, a 4, he five. rolled one success. I have 5 toughness, you have five. I wasn't counting my armor. Alright, there you go, so you only have two wounds then. He was yeah. one off. 
Lost. Not as bad as it could have been. Slightly less dead. Slightly less dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. it, fe it feels... Granted, uh, this is pretty realistic to what would probably happen if he got whacked by a giant tree. The, the giant runs up, he she hefts the tree trunk, brings it down on you, and you're like thrown across the deck. You're not thrown off it. You're thrown to like next to Swede, essentially. Next to Rowan. Okay, I have a question. Can I turn this thing around? This m mini gun thing? Like not the whole not the whole way. You oh, can't it turn it to face the opposite end of the it, ship. Oh, it can't. It, so it can't do one eighty. It's hmm. not a free. It's not a three sixty degree swivel. Hey, hmm. wait, 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 wait! One of uh, the old guys is still in the rowboat, right? One of them is, yeah. All right, someone yell off to him to have him crash it into the giant. Hey, crash it into the giant! We don't know. Oh, fine. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next turn. Yeah. Let's deal in our cards. Oh. Pardon me? What about the old man that crashed the boat into the giant? How would that work? Um, we'll have him do we'll have him make a roll. Go remember, these things don't move very fast. They're like float they're floaty things. You'd like basically be just slowly descending it into him. Unless he like really forced it. Yeah, have him really force it. And bail out. And he's not. He's he moves here. I'll say he moves like to here with his piloting. Right. Just like he's getting it into position. Oh. Oh, what if he can move it above the giant and then just cut the flotation, right? And I mean, like, fall, like right? it's float iron that's like built into the wood, essentially. Can't he turn it off? No, it's not like like that switches on and off. It's just oh. it just floats. It's like it's property. Wow. That's boring. Can't do that. Oh well. Anyway, the giant um just like hefts a boulder and is gonna try and throw it at Rowan. Oh no. And connect. Oh no! Oh, God, like, this thing's toughness <gasps> too. It's like this is hell. God damn. Yeah, my we, toughness and we, is and five. We don't, and we and we don't have like a chain gun on that side or a cannon. Sh that's shaken in one wound. You want to throw down a vigor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Benny to soak. So uh, throw down a Benny. And do I roll vigor then? Roll your vigor. <laughs> All right, the wound is removed. Yeah, like just as the boulder is about to hit you, it like bounces off the chain gun. It doesn't really damage it; just kind of bounces upwards in a way. You're like rocked by the vibrations of it hitting the chain gun, but n no worse for wear. Damn, giant! Yeah, Andrew yeah. looks. Andrew looks at the kids. Don't suppose you guys have any high-grade explosives, do you? They all just kind of like shake their heads in unison. <laughs> Uh, uh, what do you say, Fadia? Should I lift this ship off? Mm, I still I think still... that's a bad idea. Of course you do. Alright, um, Thaddeus, first off... So, you're in Shaken. So, in Shaken, you can move, but you can't do any action. You can yeah, move your regular pace. Or a spirit roll, right? It's a spirit roll to recover from Shaken. But now you're at two wounds. But you can move. I will say that. And you can spend a Benny to instantly remove Shaken if it fails. You don't have to spend that first. Right. So that's like your option. I'm gonna I'm gonna move behind the mast as like mast. cover and then try right. to recover. Fuck. Fuck. Spend the Benny to get rid of it, right? He can. Or he can do nothing for this turn and just hide behind the Thing. That's entirely up to her. that's entirely up to you, Austin. Um, yeah, I guess I'll spend a penny for it. Oh, okay. Now, can I still act this turn, or do I wait until next turn? Now you can act. You're recovered from okay. shaking, so you can do actions and such. Um, let me go back. I was reading something. 
Okay. okay. Um, uh, I was gonna change was gonna the trapping change on my bolt to be acid. I was acid gonna like throw like a glob of acid, acid at them. So I'm gonna cast uh, bolt again. Save me. Go for it. Yeah. I'm just making sure my modifiers are good. <laughs> Fuck. Also, have you put your two wounds on the uh, character yeah. sheet? That's okay. why I'm you can see it right there. Yeah, the glob of acid goes wild. It flies over the giant shoulder and just like impacts on the ground behind it. Giantess. Now, Rowan, you okay. can't quite turn the chain gun the whole way around, and this thing is like banging on the side of the ship, just like trying to reach over to like. Make a grab or a swing at you. What do uh. you do? <laughs> well, let's see now. I do have a knife. I can throw it. Maybe into its eye. Hmm. A cold <sighs> shot to the eye is a minus six. I'll <laughs> throw oh. that out there. Oh. It's a really hard shot. <sighs> Should I do it, though? I will say this, throwing out mechanics talk. A cold shot to the head is minus four, ignores armor, and does plus four damage. Hmm. Yeah, actually, Rowan just grabs one, his knife and throws it at the, her head. Come on. <gasps> Wait. Wait, you, did you put the... Min minus four is four. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but yeah. were you... Yeah, that was a cold no, shot. No, I didn't put that in. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, so uh -huh. that so is a four. That is plus four damage. <laughs> Look at something. Get off my ship! I'm gonna shake in it. Because <gasps> beyond its natural mod of five for like its size and such, you just hit it in the head, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's hit in the head with a knife, and it stumbles backwards in pain and confusion. Blood streaks into its eyes, and it's momentarily blinded. Uh, Andrew! So... Yeah, now I, your roll, time. I run over here to this porthole, to a porthole over here. There is one, right? Yes, but there's no camera. Right. there. Yeah, I'm going to also do a called shot to the head. You just gotta like poke out and aim upwards into it. Yeah. Him. Yep. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have uh, that's a minus three for me. So we'll do that. Ah, uh, fuck. Luckily, I can't. Uh, any of that either, can I? I'm trying to work out if the, those weren't natural ones. Yeah, so... they weren't. Huh? Yeah, it was... those aren't natural <laughs> ones. Yeah, plus minus three. Wait, they're not. Re they're not. I'm not sure if I'm going colorblind or not. Those aren't red, so those aren't natural no. ones. So yeah, it's not yeah. a critical. It's not a critical failure. So then. can I Benny it? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm doing my last Benny. I like we're this gonna do count. much. I don't think we're gonna do much else this session. So. Fuck. Oh no, Nothing. you lean out of the- you- alright, so, you lean out of the porthole, and you're aiming up at it, and one of the little girls, like, runs up to you and says, are you killing the giant? Just, like, steps on your foot, and it just causes the shot to go wild, like, you just shudder in pain for a Yeah, while. I just kinda was say, I was going to kill the giant. Oh, sorry, mister. S sorry, moister. Lift. So, yep. Turn order, come on. Shuffle the cards, and I will deal them. Shuffle button, deal button, deal to turn order items. Ah, wait. Alright, I'm gonna immediately try again. Wait, Sweet. wait a second. 
I need to check something. Yeah, you're double checking if it's five or bel- five and below. It's five or less. So give me a new card, Snake. All right. Here's your new card. <laughs> here's, <laughs> here's your new. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> here's on, your one new more card. Five, one more five. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Is, it jo- a jo- is a joker above or below a king? I'm sorry. That's I'm not the joker, that's the jack. Jack, 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 sorry, jack, 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 sorry. Yeah, that's below. That's below, below okay, thank you. Like I said, I'm not good at cards. So I'm basically I'm going for Fabius. Okay. See, I'm gonna immediately try again. Alright, yeah, he spoke out the window again. Yet again, it doesn't work. It's just like, <laughs> it's like this is a lot harder than it seems. It's a big target. The giant isn't going to make an attack. Oh, not an attack per se. But the giant sees you like leaning out torso first, and she's going to try and grab you. She's shaken. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Andrew gonna have it. You're fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ro- Rowan, remembering, oh yeah, I have a rapier. He's gonna fucking, he's gonna do some mad shit. With rapier in hand, he's gonna run, run and jump on the giant's head and stab her. You're making a cold shot to the head with the rapier. Yeah. Okay. So it's a minus four to the result so, going for it. So wait, do I, because I'm thinking of running and jumping. So, wouldn't that be an agility first, or...? Uh, jumping is a strength check, technically. Oh. Because you're getting... Ex- you're getting distance. Oh. I will let... With a run-up, I will discount that, by the way, though, because uh, it's not a long jump. Okay. Okay, it's not that big. But yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not like a gap that you're trying to clear. Uh, it's like, it's on the bloody ship. Uh, what the fuck does rapier use again? Oh, yeah, it's fighting. fighting. Yeah. yeah, keep forgetting. Hold... Diggity damn! I'll die! Yeah! Okay, what's the giant's parry? Well, you still, you still not beat a fucking it 13. It's not so, a 13. Well, that so, came to a 9, so that doesn't actually hit a raise. Ah. Uh, it beats it, but, but you know, you're rolling a plus 4 anyway. You stabbed it in the head. Oh, yeah. That does not hit its natural. Oh, actually. Sorry, sorry, let me double check again. The silly rapier. A rapier to the skull. The silly rapier. Eh. Alright, it's, uh, it's dead. Nice! Stab it right in the eye. Get off my ship! Alright, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Andrew, after, like, shooting it, just kind of sighs, like, uh, steps back and holsters his revolver. <laughs> well, finally, my ship is saved. Well, I didn't get it, kids, but it's dead. Wanna go meet the crew? Yay! Oh, yes, please. I'm gonna stop voicing the kids now, because yeah. now they're your kids. <laughs> what the fuck? It's appropriate. <laughs> hey, no, I, I did not agree to perfect. adopt anything here. How many kids are there? Five. Awesome. Three boys, so, yeah. two girls. Andrew uh, opens up a hatch <laughs> and walks on out and says, uh... <laughs> I mean, like, my friends, let me introduce you to the Lost Boys. But those are girls. Thaddeus is just, like, slumped over against the mast, like, sitting on the floor, like, holding his ribs. (laughs) Rowan is just like, as long as they don't dirty up my ship. Yeah, Andrew says, gentlemen, we have a crew. You know, you Would don't you... want kids. Kids at crew is really not good. Hey, I started thing? burgling at 10. The burgling is not piracy. That thing, oh my god, I think it broke a rib. Ch- silent, uh, Thaddeus, the adults are talking. But... Uh... We'll Any fix... of you kids know first aid? They all, like, in unison shake their heads. <laughs> The old man, though, just, like, walks over and just, like, looks um, Thaddeus over, and I will have him... Which old man? The old man who's still conscious, the one who made this deal in the first place. Yeah. One who got but out actually, of the, Who was I... in the rowboat, so he just yeah. jumps down, alright. Yeah, yeah actually... by the way, we'll, um, we'll, uh, to separate, Blonde Grey is the guy who made the deal, Grey is the guy who 
is the well, Long Grey is the guy who got it stolen. Grey is the guy who is broke that it. their names? <laughs> LG is. Give them. Let's give them names. Let's give them names. Yeah, now. Long Grey and Grey. Long, long blonde and the grey blonde. Wait, what? what? LG and G. Long right, grey yeah. and grey alone. So G is the old man who broke the deal, and that's just his name. It's just G. That's all you know him as. All right. It's actually Jeffrey. We don't like LG. G. I mean, hey, he's oh. the one who didn't screw you. Oh, uh, uh, actually, Rowan just he walks up actually, and uh, you know that whiskey bottle. Uh, actually, he just hands Thaddeus a bottle of rum. Here, it will ease the pain. Yeah, he just takes a swig out of it. And, Rowan... do, and he does manage to patch up one of your wounds. Yes. Oh yeah, Rowan just sits down next to Thaddeus oh, and also takes a swing out of his bottomless flask. Andrew walks Theme over theme. to uh, the guy who conked, who took a hard tumble and conked his head and got knocked out. And checks mm. his pulse. Oh, he's alive. By the way, Andrew. Well, kids, this is the man you stole the boat from. Oh. Uh, the head boy who has the gun just kind of like. He walks over and actually just hands you the pistol for one thing. Just to, <laughs> and just says. He had it coming. He was a shit. Yes, he was! Sure was. Yeah, and now Andrew's looking at the pistol. How nice is it? Not very good. It's scrappy and rugged and like. Yeah. It looks like it will explode if you fire it too many times. Yeah, he looks at... <laughs> How much and... hell has this pistol been through? Is it a hand-me-down? Oh, I don't know. I stole it from him. He points to the unconscious old man. <laughs> Rowan just <laughs> looks... <laughs> Andrew starts laughing out loud. He failed to mention that. He uh, just uh... drops the pistol on the old man's head, and uh, he takes out his great bear revolver and does ocelot tricks with it, and says, "Now this is a gun." Oh yeah, they're all, got, like they're all just kind of surrounding, you, like, Ooh. like they're enamored <laughs> by the revolver. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Roland walks up here and he says, "By the way, one of you kids know how to cook." Um, no, none of them do. How have I'll... you kids been surviving alone? <laughs> Well, we've only, we were only here for a day. We were gonna. We just wanted to wait for the heat of that old man to <laughs> die off. So, are you orphans or what? We grew up in Ramshackle. Of course, we're, of course, we're orphans. Awesome. Um, it, yeah, it's a statistic. Pro <laughs> it's the proven statistic. Ninety percent of the kids in Ramshackle are in fact orphans. My dad, my dad used to be a pirate captain, but he died. And Rowan, you notice that he looks a lot like your mentor. Huh. He looks like a, uh, you know, like a child, but a spitting image. He looks like a... Uh, what's your name, son? Would it be... Is it... Uh, is, is your last name perhaps Mineral? Mineral? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's curious. Oh, well, whatever. My name is Jimmy, and that's it. Ah, uh, I see, Jimmy. Well, you seem you seem hardy, anyway. Andrew steps up. Well, as a genuine outlaw from the Expanse, I see it as my duty to teach you kids how to properly burgle. We're not now, burglars, we're pirates. <laughs> I'm gonna like jump a little bit ahead, but um, Rowan, you give the ship like a glance, a once over, and one yeah. thing, um, look at the aircraft thing in vehicles in that handout. Okay. Also, um, I'm gonna make this. This wait, is oh vehicle. Okay, aircraft. Here we go. Uh -huh. This vehicle is a light body. It has one ca It has one cannon on port. Well, not one cannon. It has one um weapon. Yeah, Let's one weapon. Ten. It has the chain gun on pawns. Is and... the cannon now broken or something? <laughs> um, no. No? We have a no. cannon? Well, I'll allow the cannon. Nice. It's below deck and it's a bit old, but, you know, it's working. Can we have it be able to be moved from one port one side to the other? It will take time, but yes. Yeah, it's yeah like we, it's got to, we got time. Actually, Rowan is actually pretty mad at the guy. Yeah. Like, uh, the, the guy who's unconscious, he kind of kicks him, and, like, as soon as he w when he actually co becomes loose again, he just shames him for treating the ship so badly. And, and also, can... just so you know, 
a light body is considered like an entry level ship. Like pirates who are just getting their start, and like you know, companies have a lot of light bodies to just do grunt work. These ships are not respected, and you find on the side of it, written in white paint very badly, this ship has been named the High and Mighty. Oh boy, he he looks at. So he asked the guy, "Did you do this?" This, this is my ship. This is the High and Mighty. It's my ship. I just it's want not. to be a pirate. I just want to be a pirate. <laughs> he he comes around and shoves him to the side. Well, if you want to be a pirate, first off, fix my ship. Se- second of all, it's my ship. Third of all, don't go near my ship. Look, I, I, I just... I, you can have it for free, but I, you had to recover it because there's just something that I want from it, okay? We are on it. So, sure, we're just going to have to need to fix it, and you clearly don't know how to fix it, so you stay away. What do you, know do you how to cook? want? F- what do you want from it? Some, I have some family. I have some family heirlooms that I had stored on the ship. I just want. I just want those back, and then you can have it. Kids, you know anything about that? They all shake their heads. We just wanted the ship. <laughs> well, why gonna... don't you tell me where these family, what these family heirlooms are? Just so we're all on the level. They're down in storage. Come on, let's just go. Yeah, Andrew follows. Yeah, Rowan follows too. There isn't much down there. There's a couple of crates filled with cloths that you might be able to sell. And then there's a little chest. And he opens it up and it's just filled with, like, you know, an old sepia-like picture of a a woman. Um, A picture of a child. And then just, like, various little, like, books and such. That really it? I just wanted. I just wanted these pictures back. Whatever. And you wanted to be a pirate. You can't forget where you came from, right? <sighs> so, am I assuming you're retiring then? I've wanted to be a pirate all my life. I went to Ramshackle to try and realize that dream, and clearly, he says, looking at the children. Clearly, I'm not cut out for it. <laughs> yeah, if not you're not cut out. Shit stolen by children. Not cut out for it. That's an understatement. Hey, they they had a gun. They stuck me up. They had your gun. <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to clean up this lady. And, and also, and your you... gun. Also, your gun is shit. Yeah, he, he Andrew again does ocelot tricks with his revolver. This is a gun. I was told it was top of the line. It was, <laughs> it was rugged. Yeah, he he shows him again, showing him his revolver. This is top of the line. Wait, just just. just, just I, I, he just goes to the back of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have repairs to do. Any of you kids know how to repair a ship? Uh, Rowan, I'll, gi- uh, I'll give it to you. There is a mechanic, or like a shipwright, in um, Ramshackle who owes you one. We'll oh, get this thing in top yeah. order. Yeah, but uh, Rowan's just more considering like making sure we can actually yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like just doing some immediate repairs. Like, can okay. we have? Yeah. Can't we? Can't he like direct the kids? Oh yeah. Okay. Make some, a yeah. make a repair check and like to guide the children and like do some repairs yourself. Okay, kids, you do this. Uh, no, you turn that, turn it that way, not this way. So yeah, um, you do some, you do some like patching up, stabilizing. Yeah, the ship won't tip. Essentially, yeah. you make sure that all the float iron is in the right place. It's not like balanced in any weird fashion. Oh wait, so wait, I forget. Do these things use fuel? Or... No, they're wind, they're wind powered, but. Um, I can give you a run, a very boring rundown of how I imagine these ships yeah. to work. Is float iron like essentially it it just floats? Yeah. But if you, but it works on kind of what it works on like being if it if you push it upwards, it will stay up. If you push it down, it will stay down. But it has actual physical weight, so a heavier chunk of it will be harder to push up and down. Okay. So the ship has like a system of stuff to like force it up and down essentially. And it has a frame of this metal that it suspect that the wood is suspended on top of. Oh, okay. 
So it still works on wind and so and stuff like that. And there are engine powered ones as such that give it thrust. But this ship doesn't have that. This ship is no, obviously. Oh my god! Wind. I really like how you have like costs like to buy. I really like how this seems to imply that if we had five million shillings lying around, we could just buy the endless night. I would make or it harder than that, because in the lore of it, there are only five of those in the world. You'd have to track down a seller who had one to begin with. <laughs> yeah. You would need to track down a seller, and that would be the base price. Wow. That would be if, like, if he didn't bullshit you on the deal, or, or if you didn't talk him down somehow to four million. Well done! That, yeah, is, the, I, <laughs> that is the recommended yeah. retail price of the ship. May yeah. I? After those, um, how long does it take to like make do these repairs? Would you say? Um, let's check the rules quickly because I think it's a few hours. Uh, for, okay. like... But this is like just minor patch up work to make sure it's not ill fitting, and I'll give you a Benny for that for cautiousness. And you have a nice, you have a ship that will definitely get you get you to ramshackle, no problem. <laughs> yeah, and being a one. It will fit right in. Yeah. Um, a light body, a light body, a light this body. Is a, this is a good moment. This is like in Wind Waker when, like, you finally get a ship and a sail and sail the mm. seas. So. I'm surprised we didn't steal it. We. I mean, we base. We. we s mm. yeah, we well, the kids it, stole yeah. it for us and they're, they're a part of our crew now. So it takes you three hours. To wait, get wait, hold on, hold on. There's something I need to do. All right. So as we're you know taking off, I'm kind of talking to the kids. All right, kids. Now one of the fellers we landed on in that uh, hutted place right there, he didn't seem too happy with having shit thrown at him. And the civilized thing to do would be to apologize. And then he pauses for a moment. But we sure as shit ain't doing that. Now, get your loogies ready. We're gonna spit out the port as we pass by. Okay. <laughs> and he leads them in spitting on the uh, on the village as they pass over it. One of them, like the man, just like walks out with his shotgun and says, "What, the Sam Hill?" <laughs> <laughs> Do you spit on him? Oh, let's, oh, let's aim. Let's aim. Let's see. What would that? What would a check for that? Might be? that a shooting check? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Rowan, Rowan steadies the ship. <laughs> yes, it lands. One of our loogies lands on his head. I roll acid damage. Um, I think several of the kids also land a hit. <laughs> awesome. All, wow. all but two of them. All but two of them land a hit. Nice. <laughs> He's covered in... Ugh. Covered in spit. He fires the shotgun at the ship. Luckily it's not a heavy weapon yeah. and thus has no effect. He's like, just shaking his fist. Don't you come back here! Damn, kids! <laughs> Gave him nice. I gave him advice. Says as he walks back in, <laughs> a little bit dejected. I said you guys are going to Ramshackle, but are you going to Ramshackle? Yeah, okay. because sure. I know a guy. Yeah. So, ah, uh, to set the scene for Ramshackle, like Rowan, this place feels like home. You've been here before. Ramshackle <sighs> is a pirate's port. The buildings are, are, a lot of them are hollowed out old boats that no longer fly. The rest of them are just like thrown together really cheap. And some of them rotting wooden structures. The place is incredibly hilly. You can't actually walk on the ground. So the whole place is built up of suspended walkways above the ground. And there are a few areas of grass you can step on. Like a lot of the um, port is that. And as you pull into ship, the pl as you pull into port... You just hear the town. You just hear the sounds of um, you know distant sea shanties and or air shanties. Now, there's one guy who's puking off the edge of the island. Another one passed out, nearly hanging off the edge of it. A lot of gunfire, very distant. Oh. This place is a party twenty four seven, but a lot of people die. 
Ro- Rowan just goes, ah, ramshackle home. Yeah, Andrew's been here a few times. Nice. Oh, you've been here. Okay. Yeah. That makes I'm sense. I'm pretty sure all three of us have. How long has it been for each of you since you've been here? I imagine differing amounts of time. For yeah, Rowan it wasn't that long ago, you know. He was here before the job. Probably yeah. a month. It's probably been like... I don't know, six years, years. that is. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, Thaddeus, the... You could see, like, just based on, like, distant, like, six-year-old memories, the location of a lot of buildings has changed, but the atmosphere is not. This place is just basically being rebuilt a lot of the time. Because a lot of the buildings can just easily be moved. Shuffled about. Ah. Oh. Oh, man, I need to go to get a drink at the Shooting Pony and actually get a good one. Rowan used... Alright, so, you step off the boat. What are you guys gonna do in Ramshackle? Uh, fucking... Probably just fucking, uh... Teach the kids how to... I'm gonna train up my orphan pickpockets. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, hmm. I can teach yeah. him. <laughs> are, you gonna assist, are you gonna teach it, assist him in turning them into pickpockets? Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, now, you'll be leading this. Hey yeah, now, Ro- so Rowan is gonna be? take. So, so Rowan is gonna. Got... That'd be smart. We'll make that smart. Or or stealth. All right. Stealth or... Oh yeah, smart. Hey now, we'll Rowan. Wa- how to be stealthy? Rowan wanna take uh, um that guy under his wings, uh, Timmy. Wow. Eleven. How do you? Cr- I'm sorry. Let me think of a way to crit fail that. It succeeds. It damn. succeeds. No, you succeeded. You yeah. got an eleven. I'm trying to think of how the hell Thaddeus. Hmm. Okay, like she's like, oh, hey, I'll help, and then like he like he stands up too quickly and like fucking he forgot like his fucking no, spine. No, I didn't. I forgot to put my belt on, so my pants just fall off. Yeah. <laughs> um. You do. You do the um, you do the thing, and then um, Thaddeus, you notice after you're done, you notice after you're done that um, you've lost some money. <laughs> How much have I lost? How much money do you have? Two hundred thirty-three. Hmm. You're down to one hundred and eighty. Oh fuck! They used at- you as practice. <laughs> so, how much money do my orphans gather? Uh, we'll make that a separate role. This was the training role. Yeah. This was the training role, so we'll save that for another time. But they've already made some money off of Thaddeus. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. 53. 53. Do they give it to me, or are they splitting it amongst themselves? They're splitting it amongst themselves. Absolutely. God damn it. Oh, anyway, as for, uh, as for <laughs> Rowan. Yeah, Rowan, well, first things first. It goes to a sh- it, you know, as we talk. He goes to a shooting pony to meet his, fa- his probably his bestest friend in the world, alcohol, and its server, Dri- Tim. So, as you go to where you remember the shooting pony being, it's not there anymore. <gasps> Rowan just goes, wait, wait, wh- where are you? <gasps> Yo, where the video games? What? Where the video games? Where the alcohol? Where the bar at? Where the bar at? Oh, uh, shooting pony! It uh, the guy moved it recently. Just says like a passerby. Where? Wait, wait. Are you Rowan? <laughs> yeah, I'm Rowan. Oh, I was told not to tell you. Um, tell him. Oh, I'm actually not Rowan. I'm Bowen. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh God, I don't have it. I'm so, uh, sorry, I'm bullshitting <laughs> you. No. <laughs> oh, good, Bowen, Bowen. Uh, yeah, it's down the street over there. Just don't tell that Rowan guy. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that guy. He's a real asshole. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you go down the road, and the shooting pony is there. And as you walk in, Tim just says, "Oh God, no." Oh, right, Tim, I'm back. You did not. I thought you died. Nah, you know me. I can't die, but I did. I did accidentally grab have a new posse. 
my ship da- died. Bl- God bless her. Oh, sorry I got to a, hear about it. Yeah, I got a new one, but she's been taken care of by a quack who can't take care of ships. Look, I'm <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your ship, but about your tab, um, it's ringing up quite a bit, and I'm having some money troubles, and you know you should be able to pay uh, well, at least sometime these days. What is it, Don? But yeah, maybe sometime, but you know, I need to, um, oh yeah. You currently owe me 1,315 shillings. I don't have that money. Neither do I. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, I have a big job on the horizon, you see. I, I see, and I'll be paid back when you've done that. We done this dance before, haven't we? Many times, many times. We're getting too old for this shit. You are. You're older than me. I know. But you look it. Ah, uh, true. Oh. I'm only thirty-five. <laughs> How old is Tim? For my head, but... for the canon of this, thirty-six. No, it's... Okay, yeah. It's funny. <laughs> uh, I guess this is, I guess we'll just always be doing this. He says he just like pours you a glass of rum. Puts uh, it g- oh yeah, I got a new. I did on upside this time. I actually have a crew. Uh, so what happened on the last job? Uh, you know, um, turns out this guy was. Uh, fuck it, I forget which one were the ones shooting us down. Oh, you got blown. You couldn't really see. It was just kind of everything went wild because a bunch of people were fighting over one ship. Yeah, it was a lot, bunch of ships fighting over. Turns out that, that was a bad investment. And yeah. Oh yeah, that job out of hell of a. Yeah. I heard, I heard the I heard the bounty was recovered, and the natives are incredibly pissed off. Yeah. Well, it turns out my new posse. Yeah, there's this guy from the expanse. Oh, you got one of those lads on your side. Yeah, and then some, then some snobby wizard kid. You know how they are. How have you found Thaddeus two? Is twenty-eight. Sab, wizard kid. <laughs> uh, you know, one of life's mysteries. Oh yeah, now I have a crew of five kids. <laughs> what? Yeah, it turns out. So, oh, okay, here's the funny thing. The guy who did this ship, he was willing to give it to us for free, because it turns out he wanted to be a pirate, but he was really bad at it. And then, when we came back, because we had to do some other things, oh yeah, yeah, it turns out his ship got stolen by five eleven-year-olds. And the best part? They did it with his own gun. And Tim breaks down laughing. Yeah. So now we'll cut back to the other group. Uh, so, uh, Andrew, uh, now is just kind of wandering around Ramshackle. I'm gonna roll a notice check, see if there are, are any like. Actually, can, I'm gonna roll streetwise. Wait. Yeah, oh, streetwise is to find stuff in a. I have a um, minus four in that for some reason. We're gonna. Oh. It's because you're going around asking people, but we'll waive that because you're in a criminal cell. Yeah, you're yeah. Cause, and, and I've been here before, so mean and outsider shouldn't apply. Well, outside of shit, but we'll ignore. We'll wave mean. All right, cool. So, there we go. So, wow. What uh, were you looking? What were you looking for? I, I was looking to see if uh, anyone had heard anything about this bounty on Thaddeus. Oh no, you, la- that's Carly. That's. I'll say this: you don't get complete information, but you do get the news that that's like that bounty is effective in Kalia and the island. And um, yeah, so, 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 yeah, I was looking to see how far it had traveled. Yeah, it's not if it's not effective in Ramshackle. It seems to, funnily enough, only be in those two civilized places that that bounty <laughs> is effective. So you don't and, get any specifics uh... of who set it up or where it thing, but you do get that. And I might as well make an, can I make another streetwise check just to check on the status of any bounties on me? Sure, go ahead. I rolled a four. You find one, and it's... <laughs> it's very, very awkwardly written, but it is effective. 
It's a bounty of 500 shillings, and it just says, Tough Mother. Incredibly troublesome. Don't expect you to take it. If you do, get in contact. <laughs> Does it uh, say anyone uh, who, who it's from? Anything about that? It's, um, Which crime this was? This was for the crime of murder. This one is a this one is like a murder one. Might be a might be a crewmate of someone, a friend of someone you took out running in a yeah, gang or a crew. Probably an older one then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Andrew just kinda sighs. Good times. Good times. The bounty is a little the bounty paper is a little bit yellowed, so it's been there for at least yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually I'm gonna keep it as a memento. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on my wall in my room. In in, in the ship. That's a really nice collection. Just collecting yeah. your own bounties. Absolutely. Few can claim. There we go. It's now on the wall where I sleep. So, uh, Rowan, do you take the ship in for repairs? Oh yeah. He All knows right. this guy. Yeah. Names uh, Guy. <laughs> yeah, Guy. He's yeah. good. Yeah, he's like, hello, guy. I have a, I have a bit of a, f um, yeah. No, he walks in and says, "Guy, are you here? You got, you damn rascal." What? That? Rowan, I thought you died. <laughs> ah, you know me. I'm too, I'm too stubborn to die. Oh, you'll be collecting, lot, you'll be correcting a lot of rumors. It's been the word that you died in that whole, that whole shootout outside hell of a. Yeah. It's oh, a hell of man. a good thing to see you still kicking, eh? Eh, he elbows you. Eh, eh? No. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. what, what brings you here? Uh, I, I have a bit of a... Well, let's call it a challenge, yeah. You see, I recently acquired a new ship. God bless uh, Betsy. <laughs> Being his old ship. Well, it turns out that oh, the previous owner was, well, really bad. Rowan says, um, it takes him outside to show him the ship. Oh, yeah! I sold this one! You did? How yeah, much the did old you... idiot didn't know it was a fucking disaster area. Oh, man. Amazing. It wasn't actually in a much better state before then, so you want me to actually make this, uh, salvageable? Yeah, you know, you have that... I am... I want to cash in that favor. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. I'll have this good and I'll have this good and proper within a day or two. Ah, good, good on you. And yeah, he just like kind of like you know rubs his hands together, just goes and immediately gets to work trying to work out how the hell to get this thing working, get this thing <laughs> fixed. And yeah, as he's um working, he does. He does kind of like talk. He does kind of like bring up a few things, like how things have changed in Ramshackle over like a couple of a couple of things stick out to you. Is like so, Jir, Like while well, you were gone, it's been like a new coalition of uh, pirates who just don't like Ramshackle anymore. Just think we're a bunch of backwards old fucks. Hey now, that that sounds like one of them new school pirates that are trying to be, uh, you know. Well, they said they got to unite together, make a pirate front, kick everyone else out of the frontier. Uh, they don't really like us very much. Man. So, uh, is this conversation taking place, like, by the ship at all? Yeah, it's repairing. Yeah, you yeah. can be there if you want. Okay, yeah, because Andrew kind of walks down yawning. It's like, I ain't a pirate, I'm an outlaw. Well... They probably wouldn't like you much either. They think the they think the people, the free peoples of the of the lifted frontier, as they call it, should unite together, kick out the regis, kick out the majocracy, just take it all back for the pirates. They, uh, they think we're a bunch of lazy, greedy layabouts, a bunch of bloody hippies, I tell you. But they're armed, dangerous, violent, and actually not very much like hippies whatsoever. Now I think about it. You know, I bet they haven't fought the Screaming Eagles. Like we have. Now, what could any pirates have against someone like me? Andrew says, leaning against a post. Tell me, what do you want out of life? Who, me? Yeah, you. Uh... 
Burgle. That's fine and dandy and all, but are you burgling for any, like, greater cause or anything? Not particularly. You see, they won't like you. They think they, they're up their own arse thinking they're just saving this land, making it free or something. Free? How are they making it free by stealing things? The way I, I see honestly it, couldn't tell you. If you steal something, you're taking away someone else's freedom to not be stolen from. <laughs> and nice <drugs>. words. <laughs> you know, you should go and tell it to them. But yeah, they formed in the last couple. They formed in the last couple of months. Apparently, I got an outpost on one of the islands near here. Getting real uppity. Getting real violent lately. Ah, uh, you. Yeah, I'd say just when you take this ship out, just watch yourself. Ironically enough, the bloody Regis love them because they're going around killing pirates mostly. You know, they said they want to they want to take this place back from the Regis. This place mm. is going to hell. Everyone's getting too goddamn idealistic. I guess. What happened to the good old days when pirates were your pirates? Ah, oh, Captain Steel, how your death. <laughs> Was too soon. He would have cried if he saw this. I'm drunk. So are you from the expanse? Uh, I don't know. I look it. You do look it. Figured it'd be polite to bring it up that way. Yeah, I don't think many people are. I don't think many people would be caught dead. Look, trying to look like they're from the expanse. Yeah, fair enough, but hey, you might get some work around here. They kind of like, they like your sort. They think you'll do anything for a bit of change. They're not wrong. Fair enough. What are you guys looking to do with this shit, then? You know, stuff. Pirate stuff? You stay, stay in the yeah. course, then, Rowan. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not out of the game. You know, I was born on a boat, and I'll die on a boat. What about you, Book Smarts? He says, looking at Thaddeus. I'm just gonna go wherever these two end up taking me. No, oh, just let them guide the ship. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, uh, Andrew kind of chuckles. <laughs> you know, I got a good feeling about this crew, actually. I think we could go places. In fact, I think we might be able to tackle the ultimate dream. The ultimate dream. The thing any outlaw, the thing any outlaw dreams of. I'm talking say it. burgling the endless nights. I knew you were gonna say it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're delusional. You're definitely from the expanse. It's something to aspire to. Something to aspire to. All right. I think has the greatest security in the bloody in the bloody frontier. Oh, believe me, I know. I have only seen the thing in person once. Uh, of course, never got, never got much close to it. They wouldn't let Riff Raff like me that cl within breathing distance of it. My dad always tells me, 20 years ago, that bloody ship flew past Ramshackle the one and only time it deigned fly close to this place. No, it's not scared of us. It could, it could turn Ramshackle into Swiss cheese in... I don't know, one volley of its cannons. And one little shit, one uppity pirate captain, thought it would be funny to fire his one cannon he had set up on the dock at the thing. He fired it. Cannonball just bounced off the side of the thing. Then every hole on the side of that ship opened up. Every last one. One of the few ships to still actually use those bloody things. There's a smoking... It said... The place was a smoking crater for a month where that guy stood. <laughs> I've heard that story before. That's the death of Captain Barnaby. There wasn't actually anything of him left after that. Well, to be fair, Barnaby was never a smart man. Barnaby was a fucking idiot. But, you know what? He came in for repairs a lot, so I liked him. Well, it's a dream. Dreams are crazy. Oh, so best of luck, but I don't quite think you'll be doing it with this thing. Nah, no, not. no. No, she's, she won't hold for that. 
Uh, if you guys know, if you guys want some work to get you started, I know a couple of people. I can put the word out. But would be nice, you know. Oh. It would be nice, you know. I am the best goddamn pilot in this uh, sector. Or quadrant, or whatever. Alright. Well, I like the cut of your jib. You think you're going places? I ain't seen nothing wrong with that. Just watch yourself out there. Um, I think we'll end session there. Yeah. Just, yeah. He's repairing uh, the ship. So Next session. We'll have, Next we'll have session is up. free roam. Next session is when it opens up. Yeah. Now, you guys get, you guys get two XP. You guys got your ship. So okay. you should now have six experience points each, and that means you level up. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. You like oh, oh fuck. Oh fuck. What do we do? Oh, what do? Uh, okay. Page. 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 The page is... Am you guys no all have a Savage Worlds rulebook, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that's on 20 experience. Ah, oh, damn. Where's Advancement? Where's Advancement? Advancement is on page 43. Uh, I 43. Fuck. Savage Worlds. up? Advancement. Any, any piss-taking of my accent will be dealt with by losing this. <laughs> Advancement. Increase skill, increase two skills. Buy a new skill. You can increase one skill that's equal to or greater than its linked attribute, or increase two skills that are lower than their linked attribute, or buy a new skill. Like this is, you do one of these. You do one of these things. One of these five things. Oh, I think I was gonna buy a new spell. But that's a new edge. You take the edge to get a new spell. Yeah. Wait, which page did you say was uh, leveling up? 43. 43. Okay, here we go, yeah. Uh, 43. Shut up. 43. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't okay. mean it in a mean way. I can either gain an edge, increase a sk skill, or increase two skills. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna check, actually. I should probably increase. raise an attribute, honestly. Yeah, I'm feeling the same. I want to know is what. Oh yeah, it says it right under it. You can only inter you can only up an attribute once per rank. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think what I should take then. If I should take strength, vigor, or actually, I think I might take strength honestly. I might take smarts. Or, get myself a D8 of smarts. smarts. I have a D8 in agility and D8 in or uh, smarts. D6 in spirits. D D4 in strength and a D6 in vigor. Wow, you know we almost have the exact same stats. Wait, no, we don't. Never mind. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm think. But yeah, since I most weapons I have, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bump that. That's what I'm gonna do with my level up. I add. I took. I raised my strength into a d6. I hope you recorded everything okay because I just found out my audio my audio was not recording properly. Everything looked pretty good. Ho okay, then cool. I don't know why, but it wasn't picking up the microphone, and that's um, worrying to me. Hmm. Like, it picked up you guys, but not me. Hmm. And my throat is fucking raw at the moment. Shit. Oh boy. I'm not gonna. Uh, I should not do character voices. I'm not good at them, and my throat hurts. Oh man. <laughs> no, they, hey, were, they, were, they were good voices. <laughs> I enjoyed those voices. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed that goblin one. Also, look at that. What are we looking at? Alright, I'm gonna stop recording. That's not... That's not La Familia.